Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh How are you today everyone? So I hope that you are in a very good condition a very good mood okay, so that we can learn together for today Okay, so for this video okay, I will share about the heavy construction which is a bridges Okay, let us start our lecture now Okay, what is a bridge? Okay, basically a bridge is a man-made structure. Okay, not a natural made structure. A man-made structure to avoid physical obstacle without closing the way underneath such as a body of water, valley or road. Okay, so it is constructed for the purpose of providing passage okay, over the obstacle. Okay, such as the natural obstacle, such as a river, canal, or another railway, or another road. So, generally, bridge carry a load or railway across a natural or artificial obstacle. So, the obstacle could be natural or artificial, but a bridge is a man-made structure. Okay. So, the first bridge was uh, made by human were probably a span of cut wooden logs or planks and eventually stones using a simple support and cross beam arrangement and the romans built arch bridges and aqueducts and they are using the cement okay which reduced the variation of strength found in natural stone all right but the simple bridge is like this okay just using a cut of wooden logs so, in nowadays, the construction of bridges is important, okay, for some reasons. First of all, uh, the bridges connects difficult terrains, okay, easy trade and transportation of goods, reduce traveling time, okay, before this, uh, from uh, Senai to Desaru, we need about two hours, okay, by we have uh, Senai Desaru Bridge okay we just need 45 minutes and it is also uh, beneficial for military use okay the political and economic importance like Malaysia and Singapore we are suggesting a bridges a new bridge okay to connect and to enhance the political and economic importance between Singapore and Malaysia and we also want to have a less emission due to displacement because uh, nowadays I give example in Johor. Okay, our neighbor is Singapore. We have uh, Tambak Johor nowadays, but uh, Tambak Johor uh, give uh, many bad things, uh, especially emission, water emission. Okay, so it will affect the fishermen because. Uh, the water is not transport from one place to the one place. So, by uh, suggesting a new bridges uh, connecting from Malaysia to Singapore, so that the flow of the water is much more better. So that uh, the marine, the marine life, okay, uh, all the fish and all the marine environment can grow in a good condition so that it will beneficial to the fishermen and all the citizens nearby okay so the importance of bridges is very important for us okay because uh, with this reason all right so uh, by this picture what do you expect okay we have a natural obstacle here like a river Okay, but we need to make a man-made structure. Okay, a man-made structure can be an immersed tunnel, tunnel, okay, or a barbed tunnel, or bridges. So we have three types of connection we can propose, but it is all reflect to our cost, right? 
So this I bring you some uh, popular bridges. Okay, uh, this one is a pedestrian bridge in Langkawi. Okay, like a suspension bridge, and this is uh, I'm not sure about the name. It is uh, situated in Vietnam, like uh, they said, like it is uh, the God Hand, uh, which uh, holding the bridge. All right. So, and this is our Penang Bridge, Penang Second Bridge, and this is the most uh, iconic bridges, which is a golden bridge situated in uh, San Francisco, USA. So, uh, this is the major parts of bridges, okay, like other structure, uh, like building structure, the bridges structure also. Uh, classified into superstructure, substructure, and also the foundation. Okay, so this is the basic part of the bridges. Okay, we have uh, for superstructure, we have the deck. Okay, or in construction, you just call it as a slab, and we also have a girders, or in construction, we call it as a beam. All right, under the slab, and we have also the substructure element where it is piers or we call it as column and we have also the abutment okay like a, a natural uh, support okay or we enhance it natural plus the construction of like a stone and like like a box okay so that uh, the look can be transferred uh, perfectly and we also lastly uh, the lowest part is the foundation uh, we can have the the piles foundation or we have the, some other uh, type of foundation for bridges okay for superstructure okay this is the slab okay the slab okay or we call it as a deck okay uh, usually uh, it's stated uh, it is uh, located at the top of the bridges so that it can carry the loads whether uh, we need to build uh, a road okay, for traffic okay, or we need to build a railway for trains alright so uh, this is the slab and uh, this is the span the span is uh, the long of the slab between two support okay and this is the girders okay or uh, simply we can call it as a beam of the bridges okay instead of superstructure we also have the substructure okay the abutment okay the bearing okay the pierce cap and also the pierce so basically substructure is located under the superstructure so anything under the superstructure is we call it as substructure Okay, and also uh, the foundation also we can consider as the substructure. So this is the abutment. Okay, we have the uh, natural uh, natural mountain or natural natural things lah. I think. Okay, and then uh, we enhance it with the box of concrete, so then uh, it can stabilize the structure, and we have also the bearings okay bearings which is uh, usually uh, this bearing we use uh, rubber okay so that it can stabilize because uh, for for critical structure uh, or any high rise building this bearings is very important because it can absorb the external load and also uh, stabilize the structure for example okay the earthquake the earthquake model okay so this bearing is very important so that uh, all the excessive loads such as come from the earthquake it can be stabilized by this bearing so usually for practice uh, we use the rubber rubber material for this bearing okay and the substructure also contain the Pierce cap, 
Okay, peers can also be peers, or we call it as column. And uh, lastly, we have the foundation. Okay, foundation in terms of piling, or we have uh, a spread footer. Okay, the lowest part of the bridge. So usually for short span is about six to thirty meter. Okay, medium span is about thirty to hundred meter, and the long span is over the hundred meter. Okay, so means that uh, this is column. This is column. So in the middle is we call as the span. So usually uh, the span will have the over six meter. We call it as a bridge. Okay, but span with not longer than six meter, we just use a culvert. Okay, for the economical purpose. All right. So no need a bridge. Is we just want to uh, to pass by a three meter of bridges. We just need a culvert. All right. So for material, uh, many materials we can use. We can choose based on the situation, based on the condition. Whether it is steel, concrete, timber, hybrid steel plus concrete, stone, or FRP itself. FRP is very, very strong, but it's very expensive. Okay. Uh, about the usage, we can have a pedestrian bridge, the uh, bridge for highway, and also a railroad. And the span could be short, medium, or long. Okay. By considering uh, uh, from this, which is uh, span is longer than six meter, and structural of the bridge must come with slab, girder, either truss or arch or suspension or cable stick. So next, uh, we will consider about uh, several types of bridges. Okay, so this is the material and fabrication material. Okay, masonry, timber, RC, pre-stress, iron, steel, composite. Okay, for a bridge. And fabrication is we use precast, cast in place, pre-tension, post-tension, prefabricated, revet, and bolted. Depends on the material and depends on the condition. So, uh, since uh, a bridge is a man-made, but the obstacle could be artificial. Or could be a natural so it will overcome or it will face with a uh, many loads okay dead loads okay come from the self weight of the structure itself the life load okay come from the come from the uh, maybe a train uh, maybe a uh, vehicles okay come from the car lorry and others we have the buoyancy pressure We have the buoyancy pressure come from the water. Okay, we have the centrifugal force, earth pressure, seismic loads. Okay, uh, depends on the situation. Even Malaysia is not situated on the uh, Pacific, uh, fire Pacific ring. Okay, but we still have uh, the seismic load. Okay, effect from the from our naval Indonesia, and we have the water pressure, wind load, and also thermal forces. Okay, so all of these. A load we need to consider during the design of our bridge. So far in Malaysia, uh, the seismic load is uh, the first we consider the seismic load is in our second Penang Bridge. Okay, the first one. Okay, so after that, after the construction of uh, second Penang Bridge, okay, and then uh, all the high rise building, we need to consider the seismic load because of the uh, disaster okay uh, happened in Sabah, happened in Kuala Perlis. Okay, we have a small tsunami. Before this, we have a uh, earthquake in Sabah. Okay, so that by because of the condition, so that's why we need to consider the seismic load in our design. Alright, 